Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone to talk me this truth of Ruel. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwath, that'll be you brothers and sisters. I don't want to say, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amo One Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. Now, this lesson is going to be an exhortation, and the title of this lesson is going to be entitled Set Thine House in Order and Serve the Lord. Set Thine House in Order. And serve the Lord. And this is going to be an exhortation, all right? An encouragement to the hopeful elect or to the Lord's elect. Okay? To the, the, the brothers uh, coming into this thing, all right? Um, the sisters that believe on this truth and believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all right? In truth and in sincerity, okay? So once again, this is an exhortation, all right? And the title of the lesson is Set Thine House. In order and serve the Lord. All right, so I'm gonna start in the book of Second Ezra, the 14th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. It says, "Now therefore set thine house in order, and reprove thy people." Okay. You gotta uh, be doing the Lord's will, man. Okay. You see, you gotta uh, be doing what's pleasing in the, in the sight of the Lord. Okay. Learning this word, going out and teaching it, all right. Uh, being a help on to the to, to the ministry, okay, and uh, doing the work, okay. Taking care of your household, okay, and keeping the way of the Lord, okay, to the best of your ability. The way of righteousness. Okay. All right. So it says, Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such as them as be in trouble. Okay. You got to be a father to the widow, to the widowless, man. Okay. It says, And now renounce corruption. Right. Turn away from evil. Okay. It says, Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man and put off now the weak nature. We're coming in a time where you're gonna you're gonna in order for you to be a man to the Lord, first you gotta be a man. Okay? Put off the weak nature. Okay? Don't worry about what man could do unto you. Scripture say to to, to, to to fear him who could uh don't fear him who could just kill body, but fear him who could kill both body and, 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 and soul, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Alright? It says, um, Verse 15, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. It says, for, ye, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So we're living in a time, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 1 say, perilous times shall come. All right? This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right? So it's going to be tribulation. This is why you got to be girded up and be uh, uh, planted in, 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 the, in the root of the, of the words of the Lord, man. Okay? It says, um, verse 17, it says, For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So we know we live in a time because the scriptures tell you now, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right? Our Lord Yahweh Shai said in the, in the book of St. John, the seventh chapter, the seventh verse, the world cannot hate you, but me it hated because I testify of it that the works there are evil. All right? And that, was, that was our Lord. That's red letter. That's our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking and telling you that, man. So you knowing that, right? 
The scriptures tell you that the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right? So, you knowing these things are going to happen, it says, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You should be in holy conversation, man. You should be giving your mind to the meditation of prophecy. You see? Which the testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Revelation 19 and verse 10. So you got to get into the scriptures. The scriptures say, uh, Psalms 119 and 9, Beth wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed unto thy word. So you got to take heed unto the word. You see? Take heed to the word. Take hold of it. You see? From there we're going to go to the book of Psalms. Right? This is the book of Psalms, the second chapter. And I'm, I'm going to jump in here at verse 10. And it says, Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. It's telling you to be wise. All right? Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear. Okay? Serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice with trembling. Okay, the scripture said the work of your own salvation with fair trembling. Okay, uh, Philippians uh, 2 and 12. Okay, verse 12. Psalms 2 and 12 it says, Kiss the son. Speaking of our Lord Yahushai. Kiss the son. Okay, do the things that's going to make him happy. Be obedient to his word. Okay, kiss the son. Lisi be angry. And you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. You see? It's going to serve you well to trust in the Lord. The scripture says Ecclesiasticus. Otherwise known as Sirach chapter 23 verse 27 says. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, let me get that scripture. Let me, let me just go to that. I had quoted it earlier. Let me go to it in this video. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, right? Ecclesiasticus, um, chapter 23, verse 27. And it reads, And they that remain, this is talking about the remnant, okay, the elect. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord. And that, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the, unto the commandments of the Lord. Okay, when that time comes, okay, those who are delivered, they're going to know, okay, they're going to know that it's, 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 it's nothing better than to fear the Lord, you see? So you got to walk in the ways of righteousness, man, to the best of your ability. It's all about the intents of the heart, okay, but you got you to gotta, uh, uh, offend less, man, you know, scripture say to offend less. You see, look for the look for the, the good path, the old way the scriptures say. Right? Um we're gonna get the book of uh Proverbs. Proverbs chapter nineteen. Okay. This is Proverbs chapter nineteen and verse twenty. It says, Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. Okay, hear counsel, receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. So you got to be taking heed to the word, man. Okay, this is the reason why you got two ears, two ears and one mouth. You got to listen. Okay, keep your foot. Scripture say to keep your foot, man. Right. Because before you, when, when you come before the, the council of the Lord, you come before the camps, you got to keep your foot, man. As a matter of fact, let me get that scripture. Let me go to that real quick. Ecclesiastes 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 5. You got to be more, more ready to hear, man, so you could learn. It says, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High. And be more ready to hear. You see, this is why you got two ears, one mouth. You got you to gotta be more willing to hear so you can learn. All right? Keep that foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. Okay? 
Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. You just coming into this thing, you got to listen to the elders. You, 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 got, you have needs to be taught. Okay? He's a babe coming in. You got to grow. Okay? The scriptures say, uh, the Apostle Paul, all right, uh, to, 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 to get the sense, you need the sincere, mil the sincere milk that you may grow thereby, meaning, meaning the milk scriptures, you know? But when you come into this thing, you got to turn away from carnality. Stop, stop um, walking in the flesh because the flesh don't profit anything. You got to learn to walk in the spirit, okay? Let's get uh, the book of Galatians. This is the book of Galatians. Galatians uh, chapter 5 and uh, verse 25. It says, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Okay? You got to walk in the spirit, man. You see? Because when you jump up on this, it tells you, wait here, where is uh, verse uh, 16? This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that, ye, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So, you don't want to, to walk in carnality in the flesh, man. Okay, You want to walk in the spirit. Okay, This is, this is going to bring you to long life. Okay? To salvation. All right, the scriptures say, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. Okay, uh, continuing, continuing the things which thou hast learned, knowing from whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known that the Holy Scriptures is able to make thee wise unto salvation, man, through the Spirit, man. You see, so you got to walk in the Spirit. And another thing is going to be required of you is faith. The Lord said, when he returned, shall he find faith on earth. That faith is going to be required, man. You see? Uh, let me get that in uh, Romans. Romans chapter um, Romans chapter 1 and verse 7. Uh, so lucky, I don't think. So lucky. Let me grab that scripture. That's not the one I wanted. Let me grab it real quick. Let me grab it real quick. This is um the book of Romans 117. I went to, to 7, 117. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 17, it says, For therein, Salakia, it says, For therein is the righteousness of the Most High revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Okay? The just shall live by faith. So you got to keep fighting the good fight of faith and keep the faith because faith is going to be required when the Lord returns. But the Lord said, when he returns, shall he find faith on the earth? You're going to have to keep the faith. You're going to have to believe, man. You see? That's just what it is. You're going to have to trust in the Lord, man. Okay? Let's get that in Proverbs. In the book of Proverbs. One of my favorites, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Okay? Meaning your mind. The Hebrew word for heart is lab, which means your mind. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. Okay? The scripture says to cast your burdens upon the Lord. Okay? You know the old saying, if, if you want to make the most high laugh, tell him what your plans are. Okay, because at the end of the day, we don't got free will, man. You got to know that the Lord, you got to know that man's going is of the Lord. Proverbs uh, 20 and 24, right? It says, verse 6, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Right, the Lord is going to direct your paths, man. You see? The Lord is the one who's going to direct your path, man. So, all right? Uh, uh, referring back to the title of the lesson, set thy house in order, okay, and serve the Lord. 
All right. The scriptures say to put on as the elect, man. You got to be doing the things. Okay. That's what's going to allow you to be built up through the spirit. Okay. Let's get that in the book of Colossians. Okay. Uh, this is Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. And it says, put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Mashiach forgave you, so also do ye. Okay, you got to forgive your brother, man. They're trespass, man. All right? So the law can forgive you, yours. Verse 14, it says, And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. You see? So you got to put on, put on as the elect, man. Because the, the times that we're coming into right now, brothers, all right, and you few sisters, that listen to these videos, these uh, video epistles, okay? You got to be built up, man. And you got to be rooted in these scriptures up against the time that we're coming into because tribulation is coming, persecution is coming, okay? Uh, 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 scripture speaks about perilous times, man. They are coming. Fierce, savage times. And you're going to need the spirit of the Lord to be rested upon you, man. The scriptures say, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time, the strength of, thy, and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Is is this wisdom that's going to keep you stable, man? Because guess why? Let's get it. We're going to end with the book of Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians, the sixth chapter, because we wrestle not. Let's let's get it, man. Okay. We we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. Okay. So you need the Lord to fight your battles, man. Okay. The scriptures say, uh, Psalm one twenty four and verse eight, "Our help is in the name of the Lord." Okay. So you got to call upon those names. Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Right? But let's get our Ephesians. We're going to end it right here. We're going to read a passage from Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Let's jump in here at verse 12. All right? Uh, verse 10, actually. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. Right, the times that we're coming into right now, you need to have on the whole armor, man. This word, man. You got to believe strongly, man, fervently, man. All right? It says, put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You see? It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is why you need the protection of the Lord, man. All right? Now, the scriptures tell you, Psalms 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord encamp it round about those that fear him and deliver it them. All right? And deliver it them. This is the reason why you got to abide in the fear of the Lord, man. All right? It says, verse 13, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand, to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your lowest girt about with truth. See, while you have this great spirit, you got to get this truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You got to keep the faith no matter what, man. You see, it says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the scriptures, man. You see, it says, praying always. You got to stay in prayer. The scriptures say first, uh, Thessalonians chapter five, verse 17, pray without ceasing, man. Okay. Uh, uh, Sirach, the 43rd chapter and the 30th verse said, we can never go far enough. When you exalt the most high, put forth all his strength. Because even then, really far exceed, you know? We can never go far enough, roughly far phrasing. We're going to end it here. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18, it says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching here unto on, with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. You see? we got to stay in prayer, man. Okay, up against the times that we're coming into. we got to keep calling on the names of the Lord and praying, man. Fervent prayers. Okay, the scriptures say, uh, 
the righteous and fervent uh, prayer of, of, of avail it much. That's scripture. All right. I'm butchering it. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, Let me see if, I, if it comes up. Don't want to butcher that. There it goes. Um, this is James chapter 5, verse 16. It says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. It says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. So we got to stay in prayer, man, and pray for one another, pray for the, the uh, ministry, pray for the elders, man, okay? Let's stay prayed up, man, and pray for a few days, the scriptures say, all right? That the days be short, man, that, we, that the Lord come and deliver us and save us, man, because we need deliverance, man, okay? So this was, um, set thine house in order and serve the Lord, an exhortation to the Lord's elect, okay? So with that, I'm going to end the video there. Lord, will you edify? On to the next one. Shalom.